Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm working on my 08 BMW 335i with an N54 motor and I'm going to be installing an aftermarket charge pipe, specifically an aluminum charge pipe uh, that's meant to work with your factory diverter valves. This would be a good scenario to follow uh, if you just have a stock car and you're high in mileage and you're worried about uh, your factory pipe uh, cracking or if you have uh, a tune etc. Uh, as they're subject to more pressure, it's more likely to fail. I got 185,000 miles on my car and a stage two plus tune, so I'm definitely on borrowed time with regards to running a stock factory uh, charge pipe made out of plastic. This uh, charge pipe was provided by a company named VRSF and uh, vr-speed.com is their website. So I'd like to thank them for providing the hardware and I'm gonna show you guys what's involved with installing it and just go over any little nuances you may need to know. So I'll get it pulled out of the box here and we'll just describe uh, what comes with the kit, assuming you go with the factory uh, diverter valve kit. I'll have a link in the description as to where you can buy this exact charge pipe or also other similar charge pipes, depending on if you wanna go with an aftermarket diverter valve, etc. So let's get this unboxed real quick. Here's the charge pipe itself. You have your two spots to put your uh, factory diverter valves. You have two bungs for meth injection if you want to go that route. And, um, and here's the part that goes on your throttle body. You have all the clamps you need. Here's the silicone coupler that goes between the, this end of the pipe, which is toward your intercooler. And it has uh, the actual rubber hoses to go to your uh, factory diverter valves. So in case you ever want to get rid of this and just cap it off and run an aftermarket uh, blow off valve, they give you little caps for that and they give you the screws to put your uh, map sensor. Now it's time to start getting things out of the way. We'll start by removing this. It's going to be two T20s. Next up, we'll remove this vacuum hose. Now we can go after the actual DCIs. Keep in mind that my car doesn't have the factory uh, cowl kit. Um, if you watch like a spark plug DIY, etc., you can figure out how to remove all that. And I don't have my factory air box, so this whole process is a little easier for me. And I already have a set of inlets, just FYI, so it may look a little different than your car. Now it's time to remove these uh, diverter valves. So you just want to rotate this, like so, and just pull up. Get those out of the way. Now we'll take the throttle body clip and lift on it. I'm just going to remove it since we have to take it off anyway, like so. Alright, so now I'm going to try to push down on the actual pipe. You want to rock it a little bit before you do so. Come down from there. Alright, now we're coming in with my point and shoot so I can show you guys the electrical connector for the T-MAP sensor, which you can make out right here. So we're going to stick a pick tool underneath that. Alright, so I was able to unplug that. Now, we're going to come over here and loosen this uh, clamp right here. Something to keep in mind, if you look right there, there's this little clip piece that this tube actually clips onto as you're trying to rock this back and forth just be conscious that it may pop out of that and it'll feel like you almost broke something that's just normal and then you can always push it back into place after so now what we're trying to do is basically get this rubber to separate you're gonna have to do this two-handed but yes there you go it'll come off from here and then when you've done so 
we can just basically lift this out. One thing I forgot to mention is there's actually a screw that goes here that my car is actually missing. So you will want to take that out. It's probably like a T25 or T30. So just keep in mind that you'll have the one, the one screw here holding that down on your car if it's still factory. Now we'll take this charge pipe out. There we go. Now in preparation I've already removed the actual clamp that holds the actual charge pipe to the throttle body. Um, and depending on if you bought the the o-ring from them or not you may or may not have to remove your factory o-ring so keep that in mind if you're going to transfer over to the new charge pipe next up it's time to remove the actual map sensor get your t20 again might be a good idea to clean yours if it's never been cleaned mine's in good shape has it that's it for the factory charge pipe. We removed everything we need off of it. Something I noticed on my uh, new charge pipe is these uh, meth injection bungs were kind of hand loose. So just make sure you get a good tightening before you go ahead. It's going to be a five mil Allen. Now you're going to grab your actual O-ring and insert it in this groove here. Like so. Drops right in. Next up, your factory C clip. Insert it like so. Now we'll install the tubes that go in here. Now we grab our map sensor. and use the new supplied screws that are machined. FYI, these are 3mm. We gotta put this on. All right, so after some fiddling, I made a couple decisions. I'm gonna say leave these clamps off for now. We need to be able to turn this while it's on this. And because this is a wrinkle painted, Going to be really grippy and hard to work with so what i'd say is should be fine because we're going to be clamping at the end but i need to be able to work with this while it's on the pipe so i'm going to have to put a dab of uh, grease inside here just to give it some flexibility otherwise it's way too rigid and i can't work with it at all we just making things a nightmare the thinking is with the grease on there i should be able to Slide, oh yeah, piece of cake now, see? I need to be able to do this while it's down there. Otherwise it binds up against things and you can't even clip it onto the throttle body. So let's start. All right, so as discussed, we're gonna grease this and I'm going to insert it at the end. I'm not going to insert it now. I'm going to get this clipped on first, otherwise it just gets in the way. And without the grease, I, it would be super hard to try to slide that in after. But when you put the grease, it makes it really easy. So we're going for the tube by itself. Just tuck it in here. Gives you the angle you need to line things up. There you go. You'll be able to clip it right into place. So that makes things way easier. Now I'm going to slide this onto that tube. As you can see, it's just sitting there waiting. Now I can rotate this by hand. FYI, we'll put the clamps on near the end but I'm going to turn this and then pass it onto this.
hopefully you guys can see that. You gotta kind of angle it so that it's going toward the radiator or toward the middle of the car and also at a downward angle. When you do that, it'll kind of just fall straight into position without anything seeming off. That's still clicked onto the actual fan shroud um, mounting point. So now we'll just take two hands and try to slide forward. There we go. So there's the angle and you can see it slides right on there. It's at a perfect natural position and that clip down there is still clicked into place. So now we can put clamps on this stuff. All right, so we're gonna start buttoning things up now. The inverter valves sit right exactly where you'd expect. Now we'll clip our uh, map sensor back on. It's time to reinsert the DCIs. All right, so we'll put our brake booster line back on. All right, so that's gonna conclude this video, showing you how to change out your charge pipe on your N54 powered uh, E90 or E92. It will be similar on a 135, etc. cetera. Um, it's definitely something you wanna do if you have high mileage or if you're tuned. I'm actually surprised I've gone so long without blowing this up. You know, one simple backfire or something along those lines would have just blown that to smithereens and then you'd be stuck. So it could potentially add a little bit of download torque or just help with airflow because this thing's kind of shrunken down. It's got an accordion tube. You know, from what I've seen and heard, it doesn't necessarily add much power. If anything, you may get a crisper throttle response and maybe a bit of torque, but it's more for peace of mind. So it's definitely something you want to do um, just as preventive maintenance on one of these cars. Um, and in terms of uh, making contact with other parts on the car, it looks to be pretty well made and it doesn't really uh, get in touch or interfere with anything. As I mentioned, this was provided by VR Speed Factory or vr-speed.com. VRSF is what they go by as well. Um, so I'd like to thank them for that. Uh, I had a really good experience with them. They have great customer service. They respond in a timely manner, so I have no problem recommending them. And I'm gonna put a link in the description as to where you can buy these. And if you have any questions, uh, leave comments down below. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and good luck.